Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. First, we have to select a new pork solid. Just unclick the user default templates. Then click OK. Select a required unit millimeter newton seconds pork solid. Then click OK. First, we have to view all the planes. Select a plane which you want to sketch. Make it sketch on view. Select a center rectangle. On draw a rectangle. And specify the required amount of dimensions based upon your need. Give the corresponding dimensions. After give the corresponding dimensions for the rectangle, we have to just extrude the rectangle for the required amount of thickness. Make sure the extrusion must be in a mid plane. Change the amount of thickness to achieve the required shape. After the just click OK. Then we have to select a face and click the sketch. For uh, draw the circle, make on sketch on view. Then we have to select a circle and draw it at a middle of the rectangle. After draw the circle for the required dimensions, we have to extrude the circle for the required amount of thickness. Specify the extrusion value as per your need. Then click OK. We have to mirror the extruded cylinder on both sides of the hammer. So select a mirror and a mid plane, then click OK. Now the mirror operation is completed successfully after that we have to remove the all sharp edges of the hammer sort so select a round command and apply to all the sharp edges here we have to specify the radius value for the round the round is also called as a fillet After specifying the corresponding radius values for the, all the edges, we have to achieve the shape of the hammer. Just click OK after applying all the rounds. Then we have to apply a round for one more edges. So select again the round and select a circle edges for apply the round and specify the corresponding radius values. After the just click OK. Again we have to apply the round at few edges. So select again the round and set corresponding edges. And specify the required amount of radius value. Then at last we need to use one more round command at the show pages and give a specified radius value. Then click OK. We have to successfully achieve the shape of the single part of the hammer. Just we have to draw the one more part here so select a mid plane and go to the sketch and make it sketch on view here we have to draw a circle for the required amount of dimensions at the middle of the rectangle then just click ok just we have to go for extrusion specify the amount of thickness to be extruded make sure it will be a adding material 
so click the symbol adding material then we have to specify the amount of length to be extrusion then we have specify the tapper value for achieve the flexible shape of the hammer so go for options and click add tapper and specify the degrees value for adding the tapper after adding the tapper just click ok we have to increase some amount of length and then click ok at last we have to apply the round command at the handle of the hammer to remove the sharp edges specify the corresponding radius value then click ok now finally hammer shape is successfully achieved just hide the unwanted planes axes such as etc now the final part is created just we have to go for view and go to appearance apply the colors based upon your requirement for the aesthetic look of the hammer so select a color whatever you need first I have to select a wood type or any other colors for applying to the hammer To get the regular updates of my video, please subscribe in my channel. Don't forget to like and share. If you have any doubts regarding this video, just post in my comment. My channel contains the modes, software CAD tutorials such as Creo, SolidWorks, CAD DIA, ANSYS, Workbench, etc. So just don't forget to subscribe in my channel to get the regular updates of my video. If you have any doubts regarding this video, just post in my comment. Thanks for watching. Inshallah, we will meet in next video. I'm